Hi, Stark Centeno, and this is my cervical vertigo series. Now, today we're going to get into the difference between a vestibular inner ear problem and cervical vertigo. Now, one of the big differences is that a vestibular problem, when you get dizzy from the vestibular system, you've got the semicircular canals in there. And because of that, when your head moves, whether it's with or without your body, that stimulates a certain semicircular canal. So there's one canal this way, another canal that way, et cetera. And that's what characterizes a vestibular issue. Now, if you've got cervical vertigo, it's completely different, right? It's being caused by a structure in the neck. Your job for treatment and to get better is to identify which structure in the neck is causing that problem. Uh, hence, for example, when you do the test shown below and someone's holding your head and you're moving your body, that's putting pressure on your neck and it can cause dizziness or imbalance if you've got cervical vertigo. And for vestibular issues, it's going to be different, right? Anything that involves turning your head, even if your head and your body stay in the same plane, is going to cause dizziness. So hopefully this helps you sort out the difference between the two. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.